The WBC have apparently ordered their interim middleweight champion, Jamal Charlo, to face Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, in, I guess, what would be a final eliminator, and the winner would take on Canelo Alvarez. Now, this is a good fight. This is a fight I've wanted to see for a while. Jamal Charlo has been the mandatory for Gennady Golovkin for quite a long time now. And he's been calling for the Golovkin fight. He's been very vocal about it. But now that Golovkin doesn't have a belt, I'm not so sure that Jamal Charlo will be rushing to fight Golovkin. I'm not so sure that's going to happen. And I'm not so sure that Golovkin and his team would really want to fight Charlo. So I'm skeptical about this fight taking place. I hope I'm wrong, but I'm skeptical because you look at Golovkin, he's just lost all his belts. He wants massive fights right now, I would imagine. He wants big, big fights for big money, preferably with belts on the line. Now, Charlo is the interim champion, so he has a belt of sorts, but there may be better routes for Gennady Golovkin to go where he can get a straight crack at a proper belt. Let's say the winner of Danny Jacobs versus Derevenchenko. He's fought Jacobs before. He hasn't fought Derevenchenko, but I think he might prefer to go that route. And also one thing we have to bear in mind is the TV situation. We don't know what's going to happen with Gennady Golovkin because he was on HBO. Now HBO are no longer doing boxing. But HBO did leave the door open for big events, for special events. So I think they're probably still going to be interested in doing maybe Canelo pay-per-views potentially. But when they're, only, when they're limiting themselves to massive pay-per-views, it also limits how much they can market boxing because they use their other boxing programs to promote their big pay-per-view shows. HBO always do that. All the networks do that. But with them not having any regular boxing programming anymore, their promotion of their pay-per-view shows might suffer a bit, potentially, you know? So that's something to bear in mind. But either way, where Golovkin goes in terms of broadcasting could be a factor in whether this fight gets made between Golovkin and Charlo. Who knows? Will Golovkin go to the zone? Will he go to ESPN? Will he go to Showtime? It's all up in the air. We'll have to see. But it's definitely a fight I'd like to see. I think it would be a tremendous contest. But I'm just not sure that either man sees this fight as a priority. Now, I'm, not, I'm just not sure that either man sees this as the easiest route from a business standpoint to Canelo Alvarez or to a title shot. So I'll be surprised if it happens and I hope it does. I hope I am surprised. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Gennady Golovkin versus Jamal Charlo. How would the fight go? Do you think it's going to happen? Where do you think Gennady Golovkin is going to end up in terms of uh, network and what have you? Drop it all in the comments, people. It's happening, I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week covering a wide variety of controversial topics as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.